Hello Westfield, I'm Gavin Smith and you're watching Shamrock Today, Westfield Washington School's monthly video news update, where we show you district highlights from the previous month. So if you want to stay up to date with everything Westfield, be sure to subscribe. First up, music teacher Craig Brinkman and his fourth graders put on a musical performance this March at Washington Woods Elementary. The show was called H is for Hoosiers. It was a musical celebration of Indiana and what makes our state so great. The show featured college fight songs, dances, musical instruments, and not one, but two Abraham Lincolns. There's certainly more to Indiana than just corn. Washington Woods wasn't the only school putting on stunning performances. Westfield Middle School had a two-show spectacle of their play, Spy TV. It was a story of a school being turned into a reality TV show with cameras placed everywhere. The characters had to work together to get their lives off of TV. Great job to the cast and crew. The Westfield High School Theater Department also put on their spring production, The Diary of Anne Frank. This is a stage adaptation of the diary of a young Jewish girl named Anne Frank, who lived in hiding with her family and others during Nazi occupation of the Netherlands in World War II. Let's hear more information about this production from some of the students involved. I'm Mia Sears, and I'm a stage manager slash student director. And I'm Roma, and I'm on the lighting crew. Doing Anne Frank has been a very unique experience because um, the set is supposed to be historically accurate, but also perform in a theatrical um, environment. And it's been a cool experience to kind of mess around with um, how lighting affects um, the time of day and like stuff that they're going through in this cramped space. And I think it came together really well. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm Finley. And we play Anne in the Diary of Anne Frank. <laughs> Playing Anne Frank to me has been a really valuable experience. It's so different than any other play or musical I've been a part of because it's something that's historical and something that is so real and raw and vulnerable. And it has really just been such an amazing experience. Becoming Anne on stage to me has been like stepping through a glass door kind of to the past because we're telling this historical story that everyone thinks they know. There were so many things that went on in her life. Just getting to tell that aspect of the story along with the historical side has been really cool for me. What a powerful portrayal of the human experience during a time of great tragedy. Great job to all the cast and crew on your dedication and hard work in bringing this story to the stage. We can't wait to see what the theater has in store for next year. Speaking of hard work, our students aren't the only ones bringing their A-game to school every day. March was National Disability Awareness Month. In honor of this, we wanted to shout out one of our newest hardworking staff members, Mate Winston Furchale, the English cream golden retriever that is making waves at Shamrock Springs Elementary. Winston is a service dog in training here to assist children and provide emotional support to students in need. His owner, Assistant Principal Jody Dubovich, brings Winston to school and tasks students to help Winston practice his training. So next time you pay a visit to Shamrock Springs, keep an eye out for this cool canine and make sure to follow him on Instagram. Winston isn't the only cool one around here. Westwood Intermediate School had a chill day learning about the science behind ice cream. Representatives from Sub-Zero Ice Cream came to WIS to demonstrate how they use liquid nitrogen to create their famous tasty treats. Students learned about the periodic table while watching various experiments involving liquid nitrogen. The presentation was finished off with a live demonstration of how Sub-Zero makes their ice cream. Students got to enjoy their own frozen treat as well. It was a cherry on top to an awesome day. Moving on, let's play some trivia. Which of these Westfield schools just earned lighthouse status? The correct answer is Washington Woods Elementary School. That's right, Washington Woods celebrated becoming a lighthouse school last month. Lighthouse certification comes as a result of implementing the guiding principles behind Leader in Me, an international program that focuses on fostering leadership. On top of this prestigious award, our Washington Woods students hosted their annual Leadership Day. This is a day where parents, educators, and community leaders come into the school to tour the facility to see Leader in Me in action. Students help host the event by giving speeches, leading tours, and accommodating guests. If you haven't been to Monon Trail Elementary lately, it may be news to you that there are some exciting things happening. Brand new baseball and softball fields are being constructed behind the school, as well as bleachers, concession stands, and restrooms. Although located at Monon Trail, these new facilities will be open to all of our shamrocks. A lot of progress has been made this past month, and construction will be completed shortly. And speaking of sports, WHS Athletics had their Spring Media Day last month. Media Day is an event hosted by our in-house production team, Rocks Media House. Coaches select a handful of athletes from each team to be photographed. The photos are then used to promote different events throughout the season as well as used by outside media outlets like the Westfield Current. 
Make sure you're keeping up with Rox Athletics on Twitter to catch some of these great photos. And finally, we have a very special guest to send us off with our quote of the day. Words to live by. Well, that's all for this episode of Shamrock Today. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment to stay up to date on the great things happening here at Westfield Schools. And as always, it's a great day to be a Shamrock. What do you guys think? Great. So great.